Hi guys, I'm G-Van, and welcome back to Earthbound Blind. Last time, we kicked the butt of a cult <laughs> collectively by defeating Carpainter, a man being possessed by an evil statue that we've seen before in Onet. We also met Gab slash Paula, and she joined our team with her teddy bear, which died off screen, unfortunately. But, hey, <laughs> um, now she's a stronger level, so I guess she doesn't need it. <laughs> Um, now, there are a few things I want to go over as I continue through this, uh, well, I think it's an optional cave. I'm assuming it's optional, because they told me to go back to Tucson, but I didn't. So, yeah. Um, oh, hey, actually, there's something else I want to show off. Uh, here's his equipment, and here's her equipment. Actually, is there anything... No, okay. Well, that's that's her stuff. So, yeah. Now, for stuff that I want to go over, uh, thanks to the user Dracona123 for telling me some stuff. Like, how Gigabibus is pronounced as Gigas. That's very simple, and I'll probably forget, and I'll probably just keep going at, for Gigabibus. <laughs> because, why not? <laughs> um... The PK slash PSI abilities, PK, whatever, <laughs> are Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Omega, and Sigma. I'll probably forget these, um, but at least there's proof that I know! Um, Ness is around tw the age of 12 or 13. I originally thought he was like 6, <laughs> which I assumed since, hey, it's a silly game, I'd it would fit for a 6-year-old to save the world or whatever. Right? I should be paying attention to this battle because she's dying. She's dying. She's gonna die. That ain't good. Let me bash you and... Oh. Oh yeah, I also have to... <laughs> right, I have to tell you that I got some things. Well, I'll do that in a bit. Just... Just hold on. <laughs> hold your horses. Alright, um... I want to kick this guy's butt real quick. Okay, good. And now I'll show off the, uh... <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> oh, PSI freeze. Cool. Alright. So, off-screen, and sort of in a failed recording, uh... <laughs> That, I mean, all, all you really missed from that recording was that I got Paula's equipment. <laughs> That's about it. Um, alright. So, PK Fire bursts from the fingers and a row of enemies take about 80 points of damage each. Uh, causes a very cold wind to swirl around one enemy, inflicting about 180 points of damage. May freeze the enemy completely. It may not be so effective against some enemies. Uh, it's just stronger, I think. Yeah. Alright. PK Thunder. The enemy is thunderstruck for about 120 points. <laughs> thunderstruck! You may miss when there are few enemies. Element ugh, eliminates a psychic or psychic power shield. Okay. Cool. Uh, there is PSI shield. Okay. I think, yeah, I got beta for him. Um... And shield, hypnosis, paralysis. Okay. That's all. Now, um, I guess I'll go over this because why not? PK Thunder is Ness's and Lucas's. Uh, side B in... You know what? I'm not even going to say Lucas because he's not in this. Uh, but Ness's side B move in Smash Bros. if you live under a rock. And it does basically what they say it does. First from the fingers and... Psh, yeah, um, it's my fire noise. <laughs> Mighty Bear. Isn't there a game like that? Oh, jeez. Uh, or a show. I meant show, right. Um, PK Thunder is his up B move, which lets him kind of burst into foes if it hits himself. Um, but it's cool to see that I, I'm gonna assume that he doesn't learn them himself. He 
in Smash Bros, he's using them from his friends. Like, Paula has the fire, freeze, and thunder. Um, and... Let me just... <laughs> I guess you could use it. Um, and, I mean, the only one Ness seems to have is PK Flash. So that's, that's interesting. I like that. That's cool. I didn't know that they implemented... I thought that Ness just learned them all in his game. Oh, <laughs> right. Um, now that that's out of the way, there's something else I wanted to mention. Um, that was the most important thing that I was told by Dracona123. Um... And, and I wrote this down because I, for, would, I knew I would forget, so... Um, the most important thing that I was told is that Earthbound doesn't necessarily need you to be overleveled, unlike pretty much every other RPG in existence. Um, instead, uh, you can get pa oh. yeah, you Instead, you can get past things by finding alternatives. And I didn't think about this, I, I didn't actually know what he meant at the time of posting that, because when he posted that, I didn't defeat, like, all the cult stuff, that didn't go up. I wasn't even out of Onet <laughs> when he posted that. So, um, but after thinking a bit, I realized he probably meant stuff like, I, I could have fought Carpainter without the Franklin badge, but since I found it, the battle became easier, which was awesome. Um, and, I mean, that's cool. So, if that's a PSI Carmel, what's that do? Oops. Uh, help. Planish is 20 PP. Okay. Um, yeah, we should be good. Alright, um... But, uh, since I found it, it helped. So, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, since I'm so used to overleveling, I might end up doing that anyways. But just know that I'll make more of an effort to find alternatives like that. Which I kind of assumed, like, which I was kind of planning on doing before in the first place. But now it's good to know that Gab died. Great. <laughs> Oh, crud. 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 That's no good. How... Crud. <laughs> uh... Wait, what? What's that? Oh, that might be a boss! Like the, um... Oh, god. <laughs> if this is an optional place, I might be fighting an optional boss. Oh, god. What have I done? Aren't optional bosses usually found, like, in the beginning of the game? <laughs> but you can't actually fight them until... No, they're usually more hidden than this. Right? I don't know. I'm not... I'm not an RPG player. <laughs> I don't know things. Um... So, yeah, I, I won't... I won't be over-leveling as much. <laughs> Of course, if I keep on fi uh, I do need to train Paula more, though, because Paula just died, and she's an angel. <laughs> Which I kind of find funny, but also depressing, because she's dead. Crud. And I don't think healing will... <clears throat> Wait, what? When did I get the teddy bear back? Didn't it... I thought it exploded. What? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> I guess I wasn't paying that much attention. Um, oh, there's also something else uh, that I <laughs> put on my little list of notes to to mention, <laughs> which I never have. This is my first time using that. Um, but I just figured since I have so much to cover, I figured I'd write it down a little. But yeah, I so I mean I don't have a I don't have a script just. Little notes of things that I want to mention. Um, I was also told by the user Peeping Tom that there's <laughs> that name. Uh, that there's something I can get that helps with the inventory space. Uh, from my understanding, it's found in Tucson, but 
I'm not entirely sure, so, I mean, hey, I'll, I'll look for it in Tucson. Probably off-screen, maybe on-screen, I don't know. I kind of want to get done with this cave before I head to Tucson, so, yeah. And, <laughs> again, Ness doesn't need any more EXP, so I would be avoiding these people, but those moles are fast. They're fast. So... Yeah. I kind of find no point in trying to run from them. When I can just kick their butts anyways. Um. Alright. Of course, I wish... I wish Paula was getting all of these... Uh... <laughs> all of this EXP, but... No, it's, it's, it's going all to Ness. <gasps> Ooh, wait! I just remembered something. I just remembered something. Do I have it? Hold on. No, that's not what I wanted. Um... I don't have him. I don't have him. Crud. Crud. I don't have him. <laughs> the escape mouse. I could have used him. Crud. Crud! <laughs> well... <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to overlevel anymore and all of this. I'm, I'm guessing I should probably be like level 15 here <laughs> in this area, but I'm level 24 because why not? <laughs> because I'm being too prepared because I'm so used to playing other RPGs. All right. Um, I'm guessing go to the hospital and I remember where the hospital is. How much... how much money do I have? 71? <laughs> I'm gonna assume that's not enough. So, let me go to the ATM. Uh... Yeah, there, there's also a cheap bracelet that's $381. <laughs> and I, I don't want to get that. Not that I am running low on money. But, yeah, I, I just figured, hey, I... Probably shouldn't get that. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> I don't even know if it's any good. Because sometimes they overprice things that are actually pretty sucky. But sometimes, like, usually, the most overpriced item is, like, the best item in the game. <laughs> but I don't think that would be this early on. I, I'm guessing I can find it for free somewhere. <laughs> or, like, I don't know... Yeah, okay, that was enough. Good. Um, I'm guessing I can find it for free somewhere, or I can, like, buy it at a cheaper price later. I'm, I'm just gonna assume that, yeah. <laughs> so, since, um, I mean, I could off-screen enemies too, yeah. Well, ah! No, I can't. <laughs> They're still too fast. I don't like these moles. Jeez. I mean, it... I mean, the good thing is, Gab will get more EXP, but, jeez. Alright, let's... <laughs> I'm glad I figured that out. <laughs> so I was kind of worried. Scratched with his claws. And level up, I assume, right? Please? No? Okay, got it. <laughs> Rude. Um... No, 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 no. God dang it. Why do I bother trying? See, look how fast they are. Well, I guess I could use that skip sandwich. I'm not gonna use it for anything else. Besides, Gap does need some levels. Like, what level is she now? I don't remember. She's... Status... 12. Okay. 12 and 24. I think she should at least be level 15. <laughs> so, I might do that off-screen- Oh. <laughs> A sudden sign that I'm too over-leveled. It just kind of flew away. Wow.
All right. Well, this video's pretty much done. <laughs> I didn't get too far, but I found that there's probably a boss at the end of this cave, which I'm kind of hoping isn't optional anymore, but if it's not, then that's weird. <laughs> you coming there, buddy? <laughs> Mr. Patty and Mighty Bear. Alright, let's get rid of these guys before I do anything. You backed off? What? Uh... So, he's the healer. <laughs> I'm guessing nobody else is gonna be the- That's weird, because usually the girl is the healer. Because stereotypes? I don't know. <laughs> but the main character that you play as? <laughs> that was that was really redundant. I'm sorry. Uh, level 13, great. So I only want to be level two levels more. What? What is this? What? Hello, it's your dad. <laughs> You've been out there for a long time now. It may be none of my business, but don't you think it would be a good idea if you took a break? No? <laughs> I see. Well, it doesn't make me happy, but I understand your point about the fate of the world being at stake. Click beep. Was that scripted? <laughs> Was that a glitch? What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And join me next time for more Earthbound Blind. Adios.